All right. <clears throat> Took a short break after round three to make a cup of coffee and get ready for work. So before we do that, we're going to kick off this round four of the Masters at Augusta National. So I redid this because I just got this game like a day or two before the actual Masters tournament and there's a little bit of a learning curve and I feel like just the other day, just yesterday or the day before, my swing started coming into play. Something clicked. My, I got the tempo down um, a little bit better. It's not perfect by any means, but we're kicking off round four. And all four days here, I used the different pin placements, so we had a different spot on the green every day. So, let's see if we can start off with a fairway shot, which I think this is going to leak off into that first cut at least. All right, and I'm glad that we were six under par on the third round. To give us a little bit of a cushion for Sunday, because I figure these pin placements are going to be tough today. All right, we got a big swinger for birdie. Oh, that was looking good. All right, we got our par though, no harm, no foul. All right, we're going to see if we can catch that slope. I think the wind's pushing it a little further than I was hoping. And we're in the sand trap. But let's see if we can get up and down for birdie. Oh, that's going a little further than I was hoping. Oh, we just missed that. Alright, these are going to be tough pin placements. I'm going to have to watch every little... Every little slope on these greens, I think. All right, this is going to be a tough shot. We're going to look for... I think we're going to play the flop shot. See if that can get up there and stay. All 
All right, we got the birdie. We're gonna add some backspin. It's going to have to get down, but it won't. That was just way too far. I think we got in trouble here. Definitely looking at bogey. I think we're choking on Sunday. So we're 17 under par at the moment, but that's going to change. So we're going to try to salvage our bogey. Let's see if we can get this close. Too bad. All right, we saved our bogey. That was probably the best bogey putt that I've had. All right, so let's try to put that behind us. We're 16 under par through five. We're on the six hole Sunday at the Masters, and we're even par for the day so far. So we're going to choke up on the three hybrid, add some backspin to this, and hit a lot better shot than we did off the tee on the last hole. <clears throat> Alright, still hitting it fast, but I pushed it out. And just going long. Alright, so we're even par still. We had a little tap in birdie on a par, th or tap in par on a par three. It's a windy day on Sunday. There we go, that was a lot better drive. We're gonna choke up on a six iron. Add some backspin. So we got a slope that's gonna kick us off to the right. We got the wind that's kicking us off to the right. So these trees should not play into the factor here. We hit it a little fast. But that'll play. We got a look at birdie. We get that slope. That's going to work out good. Nice. Right there. 
got lucky there. It was unintentional to hit that slope, but that works out. We got a tap in birdie to go 17 under par with a par 5 coming up. But this par 5 hasn't been too good to me. Or no, we got an eagle on the second day here. The first day it wasn't good because we hit the green in 2 and then 3 putted. Man, hitting them fast. I was doing so well on round two and three. All right, but the wind's helping us out here. We're just going to hit this down there. Really no intention on getting this on the green, but I don't know. I guess you never know. Not with that. But we got a pretty good look at setting up a birdie putt. I believe we got a level lie just slightly to the left. Maybe we'll play for that a little bit. All right, we should have a tap in birdie. All right, so I appreciate all the views that I've gotten so far on the first round, second, and I did the first round yesterday. Um, the second round I did this morning as well as the third and here we are on the fourth. Uh, the views are appreciated. Um, I'm doing career mode, some live in the morning. So that was perfect. Yeah, I'm liking this game. I got this game right before the Masters and found that there's a little bit of a learning curve tempo is huge on this game I'm playing this on pro settings I also joined a few societies that play in the master settings um, world of difference between the two we're gonna add a little bit of backspin to this not too much because we don't want to roll off the front of the green here and that All right. We got to look. It's uphill. Did I hit it? No. But yeah, so about 2 days ago my swing, something clicked with the tempo. That's why I'm redoing the Masters here, because when I first got this game, I played the Masters. I want—I was hoping that I would be able to sort of compete with the field, with the actual field, and um, yeah, it just wasn't even close. So um, it's a hard game to get used to. I'm playing on the PC with the mouse. We tried intentionally hitting that one a little fast to counterbalance the wind and with this dog leg and see if we can hit that slope I haven't hit that I haven't hit that slope yet so rounds one and two and three we were well back we just hit a monster 355 yard drive we're gonna play the slope the wind and the elevation Fairways and greens is the goal here. So we got two shots to get to catch up to DJ. That see if the wind pushes out. Oh, I hit it fast. 
All right, but it looks like we're staying on the green, so we got the flat stick. We're going to have this slippery little putt downhill left to right. Just going to try to get that close. I don't want to hit that 10 feet past the hole. Oh. Oh, wow. All right, so we're hitting that well past the hole. I thought I hit that light, and we are 25 feet away from the pin. Let's see if we can miracle par putt. Oh. All right, so we're giving one back. And we're going into Amen Corner. And we're three shots off the lead. Alright, good shot off the tee box. I think the elevation and the wind, or I think we're going to stick with the 7-iron. Alright, I hit a slow shot. That's not helping. Alright, I think we're choking. All right, let's see if we can get up and down, save our par, and move on. All right, we're gonna take a chance here. I think that's looking good. We're not in the water. All right, again, one of these little slippery putts. Hopefully we don't put this into the water. I said that jokingly, but now I'm nervous. Alright, that's a good putt. Alright, so we saved our par. Going into a par 5. We need to capitalize on these. We got a favorable right to left wind here. Been hitting them a little bit fast, so that should be helpful here too. As long as we don't overdo it, we're taking on the corner. All right, that was good. We clipped the tree, but we have a short. got to aim at Ray's Creek. Actually, all right, we're going to be super aggressive here because we got three shots to make up. We're going to add some backspin because the wind's going to push it to the left. The slope is going to push it to the left. And we hit it a little fast, so yeah. And hopefully there's that slope right here 
we hit it right into it, it should feed back down. Alright, we got a nice look at Eagle. That changes things up. Alright, we are at 19 under par. Sunday at the Masters. DJ shot. Minus 20. Can we get a like on the comments or a like on the video for that shot? All right, a little bit uphill into the wind. We got this section here that we're trying to get to. I think we can club up to the eight iron and aim to the left of that shelf. That should be good. That's everything that I was thinking. See if we can stay on that shelf and not roll off. All right, we're good. We're safe. I see this line rolling across, so it's going to go just on the right side of that cup. Oh. No, oh, it came back. <laughs> Alright, tap in par. We're good. We'll take a sip of coffee for that and move on. And this next par 5, I laid up on round 1, 2, and 3 and still managed to walk away with a birdie. So, depending on how far this little 4 mile an hour wind can take this thing, I think we're probably going to do the same. Ooh, and we hit that fast. Announcer said we were in the fairway, but I'm not sure. All right, I'm speechless here. Um, yeah, we're going to lay up. We're just going to hit this through the trees. We made it through. Alright, we're going to add a lot of backspin to that. Actually, not that much. And see if we can set up a nice birdie putt. Alright, this is to tie the lead. And we clutch birdie putt there. But we bogeyed this par 3 yesterday, I believe. This is by far my favorite par 3 on the PGA Tour. We're going to see if we can hit this slope, have it feed down. Alright, wish me luck here. Ooh. We're going to add just a touch of backspin. Alright, we hit a good shot there. Into the slope. Let's see how far this carries back down. This is looking good.
No, I pushed it. All right, two holes to go. The pressure's on. We got PGA Tour 2K21 Masters on the Sunday, tied for the lead. Alright, we hit that just a touch slow. I was hoping it would stay in the fairway, but it looks like we found the rough. Pin placement's tight up against that bunker. We're going to add some loft, add some backspin. If that can get over the bunker, no, nope, not even close. Okay. All right, should be an easy bunker shot. We're hitting about 70%. That went up and checked just fine. We got a tap in par. And the all beautiful 18th hole at Augusta. I'm not sure. I should have paid attention. I'm not sure what I did on the first three rounds. <clears throat> I know I was in this one sand trap here and one sand trap there. So I think at best, especially with that pin placement, um, at best we're looking at par and tying jo Dustin Johnson at 20 under. If we completely screw it up then well there's that too. Oh if we can stay out of that bunker get a nice roll stay up on the green. This green slopes severely back to front all right, we got a miracle putt for birdie, but it's a birdie putt nonetheless. Um, we got double, if not triple breaker. But the all important thing here is to just get this thing close. I'd love to get this thing within like three, five feet. to save our par and to tie DJ for the Masters. So after five under on round one and two, six under on, on round three, it seems like we're gonna end up with a four under 68 on round four to tie Dust Dustin Johnson for the lead. So that was exciting. I'm really glad that I redid this. Um, there's a little bit of a learning curve to this game playing on the PC. This is pro settings. I've been playing some society events in Masters. So it's been fun. Hope you like it. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, hit the bell button, be notified of any future tournaments. I'm going to finish my coffee this morning, take a break. I feel like I put a lot of energy into this game today. That was three rounds. We played round two, three, and four this morning. And I think it is, yeah, it's only 6.30 in the morning here. We're East Coast time. So, yeah, minus 20. Um, I created this society to try to emulate um, the PGA Tour that we're going to start next week. We got December 3rd to December 6th playing um, at 
at this course that I've never played at before. There's so many courses on this thing that it's almost impossible to duplicate courses. Um, so if you want to join, you want to play, um, name of the society is PC Gameplay. I'll be recording my my play on it and posting it here. So thanks again, guys. The response has been overwhelming, and I will see you on the next event.